Finally, re let's revisit basic electronic components. We're going to be using the three basic components of resistors, inductors, and capacitors in this course, and then we'll also be adding an operational amplifier once we get to the electronics section. But for right now, we want to look at the relationship for each of these components between the voltage drop across its component and what the current going through that component is. So starting with our resistor here. So a resistor we're going to see is represented by this kind of triang triangular squiggle. Uh, that's what how we represent the resistor. And it's going to follow Ohm's law for the relationship between the voltage across it and its current. So the voltage drop across a resistor is the current going through it times the resistance of the resistor. And in SI units, which we'll be using uh, only SI units for our electric components, the resistance will be in ohms as our base unit. Then we have inductors as another basic electronic component, which is going to have uh, more of a squiggly uh, representation here, or here they have it as these round uh, surfaces. These are our inductors. So it has a different relationship between the voltage drop across the inductor and the current. Here, the voltage drop across the inductor is going to be its inductance, L, times the time derivative of the current going across it, so this di dt. So the voltage across it is dependent on the derivative, the time derivative, of the current. And finally, capacitors. So capacitors are usually represented by these two parallel lines of the same length. And in a capacitor, there's going to be a different relationship. It's going to be the current across the capacitor is going to be the capacitance C times the time derivative of the voltage going across the capacitor. So see how inductors and capacitors have these kind of opposite relationship here. Inductors have a time derivative of current, but capacitors have a time derivative of voltage involved in the relationship between the voltage and the current. And for a capacitor, this C, this capacitance, has a base unit of farads. And for the inductor, this L, inductance, is going to have our base unit in henrys.